Hello and welcome to How Do I Use the UMG Canvas Panel. We are going to make a quick little example. I figure a user interface overlay to show you a few basic things. Our standard user interface widget starts with the Canvas Panel, so we're good to go there. Let's go ahead and add two text objects and an image object to start with. We're going to put our image in the bottom right, so anchor to the bottom right. Let's set our position to 0, 0, and our size to 0, 0 as well. We will choose size to content and pick ourselves an image. We are going to find the shaded metal image that I have, but you'll notice it is off the screen. Well, because our anchors are on the top left and our image is right down, it will be offset. Let's change our alignment, which will change our anchor. Top left, 0, 0. Bottom right, 1, 1. If we change our anchor, our alignment to 1, 1, you will now find it's in the bottom right. Now if we wish to simply offset, we can move it, and it will now always be, let's say, negative 25 and negative 25 from the bottom right corner. Good. Let's go with our next item. Let us put a health bar in the bottom middle. Let's go ahead and name this one health bar just so we can see it easier. And we will drag this towards the bottom middle. Oh, wrong one. Let's try again. Let's grab this one. There we go. And we'll put it in the bottom middle. But we want to be exact, so let's anchor it to the bottom middle. Let's go ahead and clean up our positions. Maybe negative 50 by negative 150 and that will put it right there. Size doesn't matter. We can set it to size to content and let's change our content to be middle aligned. Now here's one of the things you'll notice as an issue. Let's say we were to go ahead and change our position to 0 and 0. You will notice where it anchors. Well that's not helpful. Let's change our alignment again. Halfway along the X we'll put it in the middle. One on the bot Y, we'll put it on the bottom. There we go. Our anchor is now the middle bottom. We can simply move our position Y up to, let's say, right around there. Clean up our odd values. Let's go to 0 and negative 100. And then we'll change our text block, for example, to health 100. Now let's make the size a little bit bigger. There we go. That looks better. Okay. What else? Well, let's do a simple ammo count. Let's put that in the bottom, eh, let's put it in the top left corner. You don't, no one pays attention to their ammo. Try that again, size to content, ammo, let's say you're running low, you have nine ammo left. Let's make it a little bit bigger, let's go for a 32, and we will lock it to the top left corner, and let's round some numbers, let's put an even 50-50. With our size, does not matter. Size could be anything if you are doing size to content. So size to content is a handy, handy feature. Our alignment can stay 0, 0 because we want to lock it to the top left corner. So let's check this out. If we hit play, you can now see ammo, health, and our little icon. If we were to resize, they stay in the same positions. If we were to manually resize, You'll notice they try and stick to those anchors, which is exactly what we wanted. Anchoring, absolute positioning, sizing the content, and changing the alignment are all advantages of the Canvas panel. And as you can see in this quick example, a great way to make a good heads-up display.